Hello and welcome to the Scatterville channel. And today, let me show you how to build a complete PC gaming setup for only $750. And the best part is that this, for the most part, is all wireless. The keyboard is wireless, the mouse is wireless, the headset is wireless, and no, I'm not clickbaiting you guys. The PC is $500, the keyboard is $60, the mouse and headset I got for 60 bucks, and finally the monitor is $120. So. This is definitely a budget PC gaming setup, and I don't think I'm cutting too many corners with it. So if you wanna see how I put this all together, then that's what this video for today is gonna to be showing you how to do, which once again, links to all of the gaming peripherals and gaming hardware that I utilize to create this setup can be found in the description below. So what kind of monitor you choose in your gaming setup is really going to dictate the overall tone and expected performance of your PC gaming setup, which is why for this budget PC setup, I've chosen the KTC H24T09P gaming monitor. This is probably the best budget 1080p gaming monitor at its price point of about $120. And there's a lot of really positive things going for it. Of course, 1920 by 1080, that's to be expected, 24 inches. But where it starts getting impressive is its actual panel because this is an IPS panel with a one milliseconds response time and features a refresh rate of 165 Hertz. And that pretty much is going to spoil the sort of performance out of this $500 gaming PC, which is we're gonna be targeting to get 165 frames per second at 1080p for nearly all of our PC games, which is right in line with our KTC monitor. But it doesn't end there because if we wanted to go a little bit beyond gaming, we do have a 125% sRGB rating on this monitor, meaning we have a bit of extra color space to work with if we wanted to utilize any creative applications that could utilize some additional color accuracy. So this monitor can do both, gaming and a bit of creativity work on the side. And lastly, one thing I think you're also gonna really appreciate about this KTC monitor is that it features both FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync on this monitor at such a low price point. So this will be compatible for no screen tearing on both AMD, Nvidia, and Intel graphics cards, which once again, won't be a problem for the PC we're pairing up with this entire setup. So that's enough about the monitor. Let me tell you how the rest of the setup and the PC ties into it. So starting off with the keyboard, I've chosen the RK61 Plus, and this is an updated version of one of the most popular budget mechanical gaming keyboards on the market, the RK61, as out of the box, this already comes modded, pretty nice. This has linear sky cyan switches, which you want linear switches for a gaming setup, so that's nice to have. And lastly, it's wireless. You can either use this through Bluetooth or its own provided dongle. And I mean, just look at it. For 60 bucks, I can't think of a better budget mechanical gaming keyboard. And I think the speeds of this as well are gonna be fast enough to be shown on the KTC monitor. So for $60, just listen to it. So you've got some really surprising build quality on that RK61 Plus that is really nice to see in such a budget mechanical gaming keyboard, which with that, let's now move on to the mouse and the headset, which I got in a combo for 60 bucks. Once again, everything here is wireless, like the mouse, this being the G305 Lightspeed from Logitech. I've used this exact mouse before. I have no issues with it, which is why I'm recommending it. And it comes in this really cool white and yellow color scheme. I wanna say there are some better budget gaming mice out there than the G305, but what makes this really valuable in this setup is that once again, I got this and a wireless gaming headset from Logitech for $60 combined, which makes the value of this mouse maybe selling for around like $20 or so really awesome. And once again, it definitely hits on aesthetics and it's also gonna hit on performance this should be fast enough to utilize the one milliseconds response time on the KTC monitor. So this G305, I think, does have a place in this budget gaming setup. Which then leaves us with the headset, which is the Logitech G435. Yes, 
This is a wireless headset, it comes with its own dongle. And I think this is maybe my least favorite part about this budget gaming setup because this headset, although it's wireless, you can definitely tell its build quality isn't anything to marvel at. Its microphone quality is also not the best. If anything, maybe later down the line, it'd be nice to get a dedicated microphone because the one that's built into this headset is not that great. So here's a microphone test of the Logitech G435 and I'll be real with you, it definitely sounds like I'm in the middle of a submarine when I speak into this headset. But the good news is though, is that this headset is comfortable in my head. It does look really nice. And sound quality wise for a wireless headset that is this affordable, I think it's actually kind of neat. If anything, maybe the trebles are a little bit tinny, but the mids are there, the bass is there. And like I suggested earlier, picking up a dedicated microphone would be the move because sound quality wise, the G435 is kind of a nice pick for this price. But sound wise, I think it definitely does the job. And just the fact that this is wireless is going to make it so easy to have in your PC gaming setup. So we've got the keyboard, the mouse, the headset, and the monitor taken care of. And let's finish out with the computer that's gonna be driving all of our frames onto this monitor. This is my recent $500 gaming PC build that I produced in a recent PC build guide video, which I heavily suggest you watch if you haven't yet, if you wanna know how to put together this exact computer yourself, as well as it's actual gaming performance as I found out in four different games at varying resolutions. And spoiler alert, it is more than fast enough for this 1080p KTC monitor. On popular esports titles like Apex Legends, CS2, Valorant, Fortnite, and others, you are absolutely gonna get at least or around 165 frames per second on this $500 gaming PC featuring that Ryzen 5 4500 and Radeon RX 5700 XT, which is all you need to utilize the full refresh rate of the KTC monitor here behind me. And once again, I think what's so brilliant about this computer is that it's also white and it's $500 as well. So it fits the theme of this overall budget PC gaming setup that not only is going to deliver in terms of performance, but also is going to deliver in terms of aesthetics without breaking the bank. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this setup. I think this is a really attractive way to get into PC gaming without dropping a whole lot of money while doing it in style and not compromising a lot in terms of performance. So overall, I'm really pleased with this. And I wanna give a thank you to KTC for sending out this monitor as well as for sponsoring this video. So there you have it. And like I said, links to all of the gaming peripherals and hardware to create this setup can be found in the description below. And with all that said, thank you so much for watching. And this is the Scatterable Channel, signing out.